Due to the sleek, cone-shaped design at the front, Bullet Train got its name. It's also recognized as Shinkansen in Japan, which means new trunk line or new main line. Today, it's a network of high-speed railway lines in Japan, which was initially built to connect distant Japanese regions with the capital city of Tokyo, in order to boost their economy. It was first started with Tokaido Shinkansen in 1964, with a total 515 kilometers long railway track. But now this network has expanded to 2,765 kilometers of distance. The original Tokaido Shinkansen is connecting Japan's three largest cities, Tokyo, Nagoya, and Osaka. And it's one of the world's busiest high-speed rail lines. In the one-year period, it carried 160 million passengers, and since its opening, it has transported more than 5.6 billion total passengers. Founder of Bullet Train A Japanese engineer, Hideo Shima, was the man behind the building of the first bullet train. As his career progressed, he became the head of the National Railway's Rolling Stock Department in 1948. But after three years, he resigned from his post and took responsibility for a fire at Yokohama Station that killed more than 100 people. Fortunately, before his resignation, he almost completed his bullet train. But at the opening ceremony, he was not there due to the previous fire incident. But later, he was asked by the Hokage of the Japan's National Railways to return as chief engineer. But on the other hand, the Shinkansen was the world's first train to reach top speeds above 209 km per hour or 130 miles per hour. In 1969, Shima began a second career, where he pushed the development of hydrogen engines to power rockets. He was recognized later and got many big awards, such as Japan's Order of Cultural Merit Award, James Watt International Medal from Britain, and Elmer A. Sperry Award from the U.S. Sadly, he passed away due to stroke at the age of 96. Bullet Train Comparison Long ago, I visited Japan, China, and Russia. Fortunately, I traveled various places via bullet trains. So, here is my experience. I noticed that Chinese railway station of Xi'an is more impressive than various airports. It has high ceilings, modern architecture, and nicely spaced gates. The interior of Chinese Shinkansen is the exact copy of an airplane's interior. The fun fact is that China has the longest high-speed train network of around 15,500 miles. The seats inside the Chinese bullet trains were big and comfortable with a lot of legroom. In some trains, you can find many restaurants. In other trains, a train hostess comes with a trolley for selling snacks, drinks, and some instant noodles. I purchased some snacks and drinks. It was a very pleasant experience on Chinese bullet trains. Whereas Tokaido Shinkansen route from Tokyo to Osaka is a gorgeous historical station, so its design is less modern compared to Chinese stations. But inside the train, there were plenty of legroom, even with a backpack. Also, Russia is not far behind. I traveled from Moscow to St. Petersburg via Sapsan route. The stations were architecturally beautiful from the outside. Russia's Sapsan cabin was by far the nicest, winged headrest and the smoother fabric on the seats. Every few rows there were the seats that faced each other on a table, which gave it that classic and romantic train journey feel. These trains had places to plug in electronics. Firstly, many economy class seats come with coffee, a drink, and a sandwich. The Russian trains have many cafe sections with microwavable meals. I had coffee and a sandwich. Both were delicious. Speed and Ticket Fare Let's compare operational speeds and ticket fares of these trains. The two newest Shinkansen trains, H5 and E5, hit top operating speeds of 320 km per hour or 198 miles per hour. We can book tickets by a smartphone app called SmartX. And you know distance between Tokyo and Kyoto is around 454 kilometers, and its cost is 13,080 yen or $117. Simply, for each 100 kilometers, you have to pay $25. But when you buy a pass costing 29,110 yen or $260, you can go anywhere for seven days unlimited. 
you can get a great view of Mount Fuji along the Tokaido Shinkansen route, but you have to sit on the right side of the train heading towards Kyoto. Whereas China's G-Class trains can reach up to 350 km per hour, but generally top out around 307 km per hour or 190 miles per hour. A newly developed Fuxing Hao train can hit 400 km per hour. Business class seats are the equivalent of first class on an airplane and are only available on G and some D types. There are two sofa-like seats on one side. From Hong Kong to Beijing, the total distance is around 2,000 km, and it costs around $76 only. Simply, it's the most affordable offer. For every 100 km, you have to pay only $4. In addition to it, Chinese maglev trains routinely hit 268 miles per hour or 430 kilometers per hour with passengers on board. While South Korea's bullet trains operate at a speed of 300 kilometers per hour and Russian trains at a speed of 250 kilometers per hour, but still upgradable to 350 kilometers per hour. Survival rate and safety. Probably you are thinking why I am a train nerd, even though airplanes are superior here. Well, let me ask you a question. For a while, just imagine you are in a falling airplane with other passengers. So tell me, how much would be your survival chance? The answer would be 0%, right? Similarly, if you were on a sinking boat, the survival rates are not so impressive either. Worldwide, there have only ever been a handful of fatal crashes, and it has the record of zero safety problems. Shinkansen uses Automatic Train Control System, or ATC, that directly displays the permitted speed on monitors in front of the driver. Also, there aren't any railroad crossings on the lines, and its maintenance is done every two days, where engineers ensure no visual damage. The train is very punctual, so there's essentially no risk of train-on-train -train collisions. Moreover, Shinkansen has Early Earthquake Alert System and the Emergency Braking System, both work in harmony to stop the train within seconds after an earthquake. These trains are environmentally friendly too, and saving 15,000 tons of CO2 every year. Honestly speaking, Shinkansen is more reliable than your hard disk. Maglev's Train Some bullet trains can levitate above the track, therefore they are also known as Maglev's Train. This advanced train already shocked the world in April 2015 by reaching the maximum speed of 603 km per hour or 275 miles per hour during a test run for the Chuo Shinkansen. Maglevs are much more energy efficient at high speeds and hence capable of much higher operating speeds. The great suspension of the L0 series avoids any harshness, vibration, and noise to enter the cabin at high speed. Technically speaking, maglevs use very powerful electromagnets or superconductors that work better at the cold temperatures. Therefore, they need cryogenic cooling to cool down its track. Time Respecting Factor Well, time is money, and money is very important. That's why the Shinkansen is always viewed as the most respectful toward time. The average delay of a Shinkansen due to heavy rain and other natural disasters between Tokyo and Osaka was just 36 seconds in 2012. Hilariously, Japanese officials consider less than 10-minute delay for 400 kilometers of traveling distance on time. In Japan, everything is precise. Therefore, its cleaning crew members are called the 7-Minute Miracle Workers, due to the fact that they can clean the whole train in just 7 minutes. And during rush hour, there are attendants, or pushers, who help by pushing the passengers inside the crowded trains. Absence of Red, Green, Yellow Signals Well, it's surprising, you know, that these speed demons don't use conventional red, green, yellow light systems. Due to the fact that Shinkansen needs 3 kilometers to stop the train at high speed, and at such speed when the driver sees a red light ahead, it's too late. Besides, while raining, these indicators are hard to see due to very low visibility. That's why Shinkansen uses the Cab Signal System, or Automatic Train Control System, instead of light signals. Bullet Train Cold War Well, the ongoing Cold War between China and Japan is no secret, and bullet trains are no exception. 
In early days, Japan did not want to sell its Shinkansen technology to China. But due to empty pockets and a bad financial situation, Japan needed easy money. Hence, they sold all their technology of E2-1000 series to China, whose manufacturer was Kawasaki Heavy Industries. But now, Japan is facing tough competition from China for developing high-speed trains. Nomenclature and Performance There are bullet trains named as Kodama meaning Echo, Hikari meaning Light, and Nozomi meaning Hope. But their max speed differs. Hikari, the Light, is faster than Kodama, the Echo, because Light is faster than Sound. However, Nozomi, the Hope, is faster than both because human hope exceeds light and sound.